Some people might ask the question, how do I pursue a commission and on top of that, take on the challenge of being a cadet at VMI? And I have to say it's a rather seamless process because of the way things are done here. I was a midshipman in the NROTC battalion at VMI, but there was this rather fluid integration uh, between the ROTC side of things and all the other activities up on the hill. That they understood first and foremost, you are here to be a VMI cadet. The ROTC program here is amazing with the training that we get to do. It's off the charts compared to other programs. We get to have resources available for us that many other ROTC programs don't. And that's what makes us some of the best ROTC cadets in the country. You can choose whether or not to commission while you're here, which is a great aspect of our school. Um, I came in uh, knowing that I wanted to commission into the Navy. I picked up a uh, four-year Navy scholarship out of high school. The main thing I see here is, you know, you really get a perspective of what the military has to offer. We get to do a lot of different training exercises. We got to go to Norfolk for a few days in the spring. That was really eye-opening. I came in wanting to be a pilot, and now I know for sure that I'd, I'm going to pursue aviation and give it everything that I have. So the ROTC instructions, although I didn't commission, I thought that it was still very important. You got to sit next to students and brother rats and your peers who you knew were going to go on and protect the country and serve. And I think that that gives you just even more respect for our ladies and gentlemen in the armed services. We still went through FTX field training exercises. We still marched in ranks and everything like that. Valuable knowledge that you might not get if you didn't come through VMI and have that mandatory ROTC experience. I think I was in middle school and it just hit me one day. I was like, I know what I want to do. I want to be in the Army. I want to be a tank commander. It's never been a question for me. I've always known that that's what I want to do. For me, VMI was an, an obvious option. When I found it, I was like, oh, this could work really well. And I came here and it just, it was perfect. It's a very special place. And it's one of the few places that has helped me get closer to actually achieving that dream. ROTC itself has FTX every spring and fall. For Air Force, fall FTX. What we do is community service. We go to places in Lexington, um, nursing homes, SPCA, get in contact with Habitat for Humanity, different things like that. I'm very fortunate to be where I am. I'm about to be active duty second lieutenant for the Air Force, which is where I wanted to be. It really gives you an appreciation and kind of a sense of respect for the enlisted guys that you will be leading. The ROTC instructors are phenomenal. All of them are from different parts of the uh, services, so different communities, and they offer advice, they're offering you know, knowledge um, that you just can soak in. And they, they're always so happy to answer questions, while at the same time teaching you, you know, what it takes to be an officer in the military, what it takes to be a leader. Once we commission, um, we're ready to go, we're ready to lead um, war fighters and uh, ready to defend this country.